Right, so we're going to do a load comparison. Uh, PSP versus your homemade uh, game console. So we'll start them both at the same time and see which one loads the quickest. Already loaded. Homemade one's already gone away. Already gone. This one's only just started now. Right, so through Batistera, making your own one. Look at the load time differences. So, I'm already halfway through my movie scene, and the PSP's only just been in. So that's about 15 seconds difference, 15 seconds away. Okay, so now let's just load it. We'll see which one loads quickest just by pressing X. And that's just the start button, do we? One, two, three. Okay, both loaded as quick just there. Okay, what about now? Pushing them both at the same time. Oh, yeah. So they both went off at the same time for their own demo. But still, my one is pretty good. And if you look at the graphics quality. Even my one's got a bit of graphics. Oh, and out of the blue, that one went through its stages. Oh, yeah. Now the PSP's the one. Oh. Start that one. Okay. So we'll see what load times are. See the screen picture here. And the screen picture here. Uh, one, two, three. So my one's slightly bit quicker. Slightly. Right, so this is uh, Need for Speed Carbon on Batasura. Now you'll notice see the graphics are a wee bit blotchy there. Okay, so the way to fix that is on your PS3 controller, you press the P and the X at the same time while in gameplay. Alright? Like that. 
All right, and you'll get this menu here. Go over to create game config because every game is different. So you want to set up different games differently. You know, some games won't like you doing frame skipping, other ones will love it. If you ever get stuttering on your graphics uh, where it's jittering a wee bit, uh, what you'd want to be doing is going down and selecting uh, your frames here, frame skipping. And you want to change that. Why is that so, so bright there? It's the frame skipping. Initially, <coughs> with the system I've got, I don't actually need it on, but um, it does pay just to do the auto frame skip and auto do it. I mean, it's going to do one. Um, right, what we want to do now, uh, also buffering, uh, Grand Theft Auto, that's one you're going to have to make sure you got the buffering on with. Um, Initially, if you, you're finding your systems jittering shitloads, uh, you're just going to have to sacrifice not having great graphics and uh, take off buffer rendering. Alright, now you've got rendering resolution. Okay. So anyway, what we want to do on that resolution one, resolution, yeah, let's make that, at the moment it's one times PSP, like PSP graphics, so what we're going to do is actually make that three times. Uh, if you're on a different memory uh, menu with the uh, resolution times, then three times is basically 720, um, and then of course four times is going up to 1080p. Uh, so if you've got HDMI plugged in, 4, four times PSP, you're going to be sweet. No, it's 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you know, that's when you're getting towards your 4K stuff. So, And that's if your system's going to handle it. So what I'm going to do here, I'm just going to go to 4 times. It's probably not going to accept it, because that's, you know, I'm, I'm, you'll notice that there's been an enhancement already, clarity. All right. Uh... All right, you'll see here, these are all my settings here. Right, um, that lower effects thing to speed up. Um, disable slower effects. Um, you can do that if your system's going to handle it. If it's not, don't do it. The same here with curves. Uh, I've got mine on high. That's just to, to be able to take these, you know, get nice curves out of it. Some, some systems aren't going to handle it. Put it on medium. Uh, especially if you're on a laptop, standard sort of a laptop. Right, I'm going to go here. I'm just going to go to save state. Boom. Now look at the enhancement there. Crystal clear. Like we're playing a PS3, PS4. Well, PS3 anyway. <laughs> Alright, it's an arrow away. Much better graphics. It's running smoothly. No glitching. Smashing the things worked. It's another thing, if you find that your steering's a bit touchy, uh, like you find you're going left or right too much, you know, like because you're just touching the thing and it's the zoom in, you can go into your control for configuration and um, just wind it down to 70 on your vertical and your uh, horizontal settings and that'll help a wee bit. Uh, you can wind it down to about 60, I wouldn't be going too much more than that. Uh, but you can try your own preference really. So you can see here there's no skipping, no nothing, no problem with graphics. Graphic quality is absolutely brilliant. Um, well, we're four times what the PSP is. Of course, we're going to fail on that one, but anyway. Let me start, yeah. Just for interest, I might just quickly show you something else here. Um, you, you noticed before.
game settings. I mean, this may not work, and there's no need for me to do it because my graphics are four times better than what a PSP graphics are. So, um, I'm just going to do this. We're at four. I'll just put this at eight. My system's probably not going to handle it on this game. Let's just see what happens, eh? Right, so again, the image has been crispied up a bit more. But you can hear the music skipping. Hear that? Right, so we've got to change it. There's no way it's handling it. Game settings. And I mean, you don't want to overdo it, otherwise, you're just going to fry your computer. I mean, it's going to get too hot. Check out your CPU, um, temperatures, and all that. Um, right, so we know eight times miles too much. Alright, we can go six times. Can muck around like that, but as I say, four times, I mean, I'd just keep them between um, one. Some games you're going to have to be at one times PSP, and other games you're going to be at two. Some games you can get it up to four, like this one here. Alright, I'm just going to go six here. Alright, so the music's fine now. We're at six times PSP graphics, really. Yeah, uh, as you can see, I mean, I don't notice much difference between the 6 and 4, really. So you're probably better off having on the 4, that way your system's not having to work over over, over time to try and get this thing, you know, get it doing what it needs to be doing. Yeah, so we're just going to go out of here. I'm going to put one back to 4, just because, I mean, I, there's no need to make my system have a heart attack if there's no need to... And the graphics are pretty good at that. And as I say, there's no difference there between four or six. And to be able to get it up to four, I mean, it's pretty good. As I say, three's plenty. Um, three's about your 720p, four's gonna be your 1080. And I mean, I haven't got HDMI plugged in there, so I don't like that. But 1080p, that'd be roughly, I'd say. Um, you can change your buffer graphics commands here too. Um, but I mean, and again, I haven't got any problems with anything skipping or anything at the moment. Um, catchy, yeah. Um, this is it's speed hack apparently. Thank you. You go toilets, did you? Pretty dark outside, eh? <laughs> Disable slower effects, it's a speed up. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, that one there occurs as I said, it's on high there. I mean, I'll show you the difference. Of, well, actually, I don't have to put on medium. You already see the graphics are pretty wicked at the moment. Let's just go back to the gameplay. This is all pretty good. faster uh, first person view So we've got Aces of War Part 2, same thing on Battle Sierra. Um, and you'll see here the blotchy sort of wings. Uh, let's see what we can do. You can see that side on looks like that. So, what we'll do is we'll enhance that. Go into the system settings. Create game config because you want to create it just for this game only. Game settings. Alright, as 
I said this one auto frame skip uh, if the system you have doesn't have the option for auto frame skip um, just set it to frame skipping by one if you do it by two or three you I mean you'll start getting skipping and <laughs> I mean it's just as bad as it normally skips so you, you, you may not end up fixing your problem you just get up your, up your hardware a bit more right so we're going to go three times PSP and we'll go back out of here right oh look at that huge improvement it's like we're playing a PS3 now alright side on view much better 